Hi Libra Sun Moon Rising. I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy. I am a soul therapist and an intuitive that connects with the angelic energy and I help the helpers, the healers, and the light bringers of this world to live their most magical life. So if that's you, make sure you hit that subscribe button below with the bell so you can get notifications for all the videos that I'm sharing here on this channel. Today we're going to dive into your month of April 2021. What do you need to know? what messages the angels have for you and how can you best navigate this month. It, as I take a look at your overall month, I think that overall it's going to be a really fantastic month for you. I, I think a lot of blessings are coming in. I think you're feeling good about life. I think that you're feeling like you've worked through a lot of things. And like I said, overall a really positive vibe for the whole month. There's um coming in, I, I feel like there's such of recognition or an appreciation, not only just for your life, but specifically you're going to find yourself looking back, I think, looking back on a situation that maybe at the time felt really disappointing or felt really difficult to go through. And you're going to be taking a step back and recognizing that it happened for a reason and it happened for a really positive reason. And usually we aren't able to recognize these things until we have a little bit of perspective. But I think that there's going to be just this taking a step back and having an appreciation for that particular thing that happened to you, understanding that it happened for you. And there's such a gratitude that comes with this because you're recognizing how this set you up to be on a better path, how this set you up for better opportunities. And so I think that you're going to just really be enjoying the energy of that because there's a lot of gifts this month. There's a lot of positive stuff, a lot of things that you're feeling excited about in your life, a lot of things that you're feeling good about in your life that you're feeling an appreciation for. And um, so you are recognizing that things didn't work out the way that if you could have chosen you know, they didn't work out in that way. However, you're now beginning to recognize that it worked out for you. And so there's a beautiful deepening of that spiritual connection. There's a beautiful trust that is coming through with this. There's also such a feeling of just overall contentment in life. There's, um, there's a joy, there's a happiness. You're feeling like there are happy outcomes happening for you. You're feeling like certain opportunities are starting to happen for you. And this might not all completely manifest here in this month, but you're going to see the beginnings of that. And you're going to see these beautiful little things starting to sprout, these happy little things starting to sprout where you're feeling like, okay, things are really going in a good direction. Things are really happening for me. And I am feeling really good about things. I also feel such a good vibe around relationships in your life and specifically with trust and trustworthy relationships is what I'm hearing in my mind. So knowing that you are surrounded by good people and, and maybe you've been doing some work around that. Maybe you've been working on a clearing away connections that no longer are in alignment for you. Maybe you've been um, working on setting boundaries, raising your standards, but you're starting to recognize, wow, I'm really manifesting the kind of connections, the kind of relationships in my life that I'm looking for. And I'm feeling really good about that. And I'm feeling like I can have some trust with things. There's also an element of you working hard this month. And I think that you are going to find yourself feeling really busy, but there's an energy of payoff with that as well. So it's not like you're feeling like I'm working and working and working and I'm not getting that payoff. I'm not seeing the reward. I think that you're going to be seeing the reward very much throughout the month and moving forward with things. And so there very much is this motivator or it's very reinforcing for you to be putting a lot of time and energy into the things that are most important to you this month. Because as you are doing that, you're going to be receiving and reaping the rewards of that. So that's a really positive energy as well. However, I do want to talk about the hard work because there is an element of, because there's so much good going on, that you're wanting to get caught up in that. Or I see that possibility where it's like, I just kind of want to stay in this world of sunshine and rainbows. And um, there there is a little bit of a warning here where you, you don't want to be so caught up in 
the joy and the happiness of everything that's happening, that you're ignoring maybe certain emotions that you're having or you're avoiding certain things that really are needing your attention. Your intuition is gonna show you the things that you need to address, the things that you need to pay attention to. And so just don't push that away because you wanna stay in a happy place or don't ignore that stuff simply because you are really busy or really caught up in this joy, like I said. So so making sure that, yes, you're going to be busy, and, and a lot of this is a really positive thing. A lot of this is creating a lot of opportunities for you, but ask yourself also, like, is there, are there things that I'm trying to avoid by keeping busy or uh, by keeping my head in the clouds? And, and what do I also need to be mindful of? What do I also need to be paying attention to? And what feelings, what emotions do I, I need to be honoring? Because sometimes we have feelings that are coming up. We have things that we need to acknowledge, that we need to feel, that we need to... Um, or, or intuition that's coming up that we should not ignore. And we have this tendency to want to do that. So making sure that you're not doing that and that you are giving attention to everything that's asking to be given attention to. But again, I think you're gonna be busy in a really positive way. There's going to be a very uh, productive feeling throughout the month. So making sure that you are honoring that. I also see you being very social and wanting to be very social. It's almost like a stepping out of being a little bit more hermit-like for a while, you know, where suddenly you're wanting to be around people, you're wanting to reconnect with people, you're wanting to put yourself out there. And so ride the wave of that as well, because I think that you are, again, it's a very positive relationship energy for Libra this month. And um, so embrace that and get out there and make new connections and be meeting people and spending time with the people that matter the most too. I think that's really going to fuel you. I think, again, while you're going to feel really busy, I think that's going to be very fueling and, and very fun for you and uplifting and exciting. So I just see you stepping out and being more social and enjoying yourself and, and surrounding yourself with like-minded people. There also is an energy of like part of what I heard here with this is to be mindful of the impact of ego here in your life. Okay. So, um, again, it's like, we don't want that ego to, uh, be in the driver's seat. We don't want to be avoiding certain things that we know that we need to be addressing or, um, letting ourselves kind of live in fear or letting fear be in the driver's seat or wherever you're finding that maybe your ego is, taking a little bit too much energy, right? And um, where do you need to be mindful of that? And sometimes with ego, we can be overly materialistic or um, caught up in the things that deep down we know don't really matter so much, you know? So um, being mindful of the impact that ego is having and trying to release that, trying to step into more of a soul focused uh, focus and uh, making sure that we are honoring our soul more so than our ego. Yes, we are human. Yes, we are ego. So that is always going to impact us. It's not realistic to not have our ego impacting the way that we navigate life, but where do you need to step a little bit more into your soul? Or, you know, is your ego hurt in some way and, and you are um, acting in such a way that uh, is not from a soul-based place, not from a place that is for your highest and best good? Has your ego been bruised in some way? And, and so again, stepping back into our soul and understanding that we are worthy of love, that other people are worthy of love, and um, just kind of being mindful of that. The other piece of this is we want to make sure that you are honoring your uniqueness. I think that, again, I guess there's an energy a little bit of rose-colored glasses this month if you um, get caught up in that. And if we let that go too far, it almost like steps into that ego territory where it's like, no, I just want to stay in my happy little world and I, I want to ignore certain things. And, and some of those things, when I'm talking about ignoring certain things, some of those feel like um, not honoring who you authentically are. Maybe there are people in your world who don't know who you really are and you don't feel comfortable being really yourself, or there's some kind of a message that you're getting from outside of yourself that it's not okay for you to be authentically you. But this is really about making sure that at the end of the day that you're honoring your authentic self 
above all else. I think that this is really, really key. It's really key for you to stand strong in who you are and what you want and where you want to go in life. And for the people who can't honor that, the people that don't respect that, those people aren't meant to be in your life anyway. Okay. Or they're meant to be a lesson for a period of time in your life. And maybe this is going to be that clarity of mind that you need to be able to release that. So paying attention to that and paying attention to where you don't feel like you can be authentically you. Maybe, um, you know, maybe this isn't within relationships, but maybe in the job that you have, in the work that you're doing, you're not feeling like that. So that might be really important for you to be exploring uh, the kind of work situation that would allow you to be authentically you, that would allow you to just, you know, be as much yourself as possible and let you, your light shine through, let your gifts shine through. This is going to be really key for you in order to truly be happy, in order to truly be living your best life. So that's something to pay attention to as well this month. So those are your messages for the month of April. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button below. I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy. If you want to learn more about me or about Clarity, you can check me out at discoveryawakening.com. I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care, guys.